Welcome back to a brand new video. Now today's title is all around GPS golf apps. Are they any good if you're serious about improving your game? Actually, are they any good for your game in general? Now, as we look through the app market, you can see there are countless apps. Which one do you choose? So I'm gonna choose the top rated app on the App Store. And this is Apple. And this is the one that comes down just below an ad. Now, my question that I always have in my head is, how accurate can they be? They work off your phone GPS signal, how accurate can they be? Now, they're basically up there to compete with your laser or your handheld GPS. Right, I'm gonna play the last few holes here at Motcham Hall, 16, 17, and 18, and well, we're gonna put this to the test. Let's go. 195 to the middle. This whole play is 209 yards. Well, that's gonna have to be five iron for me. Right. Okay. Now, flags at the front here. Let's see how we fare. I'll be the club. <laughs> oh my days. So some of the first things that I want to cover here, what do I want from a GPS or laser? What do I want from it? <laughs> Let's have a bit of that. Let's have a bit of that. That's what we want to see. I'm wanting an app or I'm wanting a GPS that's going to give me front, middle, back. It's going to give me information on layups and for me, this one's not a massive one, but I know potentially for you it is, keeping your score. Now on this, before we carry on with this video, are there any apps that you're using right now that you're like, this is my go-to. I use this because. So let's see in those comments down below. But not a bad start, eh? This app does all those features. I can track my clubs, I can set up my bag, I can track my score, greens and reg, and get some real stats on my game, which I think is really good. And one of the things that, well, I guess, things like a GPS potentially don't do, and definitely a laser doesn't do that. Now, another thing that I really like on this is actually the preview, which you can see on the screen right now. So if you've never played a golf course before and you're going there, you really get a good look about what sort of you're gonna see. You get to see everything. Now that's just so valuable. I'm astounded that that's free. Now I should point out, this is not an ad <laughs> at all. I just think that's like an unbelievably cool feature. However, with all that being said, I just realized on this free version, we don't get, we don't get any of the layups, which is really quite annoying. And all that I can have going through my head right now is how accurate can this be? How accurate can this be? Right, well, I can see it's driver. I know where the trouble is. It's put my phone back in my pocket, which I don't like in general. Okay, so here we go. So right now, Let's talk about some of the pros and cons of this app. So let's start pros. Well, it's free to a sort of extent. Um, you get a great preview of the hole. You can log your score and get your stats. Okay, now, I think those are some really good features. The cons are you have to upgrade to actually get the layups. Okay, um, the other cons are you've got to have your phone with you at all times. Now, you can on that note link it up to your watch, your Apple Watch. Um, but for me, the golf course is about getting away from all the work, getting away from all the emails, and having two things that can potentially bring up notifications and bring up these things. Uh, yeah, 
I don't like that factor. And, and also, I don't like the fact you've got to pay. Now, I know I said at the start that you, this app gives you front, middle, and back. I just assumed that it did. I'm testing this app literally for the first time right now. I've turned this on at the start of this video, made an account, logged in. And I'm a bit disappointed that it doesn't give you layups. So, yeah. And, and, and final point, Con, that um, I question how accurate it can be. Think of this, right? When you're driving down the road using a GPS, so either, I don't know, whatever app you use, right? Whatever country you're from, and you use your phone as your GPS, you sometimes don't end up on the road that you meant to because of the lagging and all these sort of things. So I always question if that's going to be sort of 10, 15 yards out. And that's me personally right now. Okay, by the way, did you see this putt that I just held? Little Tiger fist pump. Oh yes, that is what I'm on about. Let's play the final hole and, I don't know, final verdict. Let's go. Half five. Preview. I don't know about you, but when I really smoke one, I like to log how far I've hit it. It's nice to know, isn't it? It's nice to give one of them to your mates. Oh, I ate that one, 270 yards or whatever. Now, on the free version of this app, you can't do that. On most, on all the GPS devices, so the Easy Green, my watch, my Golf Buddy watch, and even my laser, I can find out how far this drive has gone. Right? That's some like, nice bragging rights, isn't it? Okay, I'm not berating the app, I'm just, I'm just pointing out some pros and cons here. Of course, it may well be cheaper to purchase this app on a monthly basis, but you look at this right now, you can either pay monthly for the pro, or you can pay yearly at £44 roughly a year. Like, if you look at what the price of a yardage device, sort of in three years, because this is still going to be working, and you've got to keep, I, I don't know, maybe it's worth, it's up to you, isn't it, on that point, but I'm just offering you the advice. Let's play this one, because I'm buzzing, absolutely buzzing with that drive. Two, 242. That's five wood every day of the week. What is my overall opinion on this golf app? As I was saying, I love the fact you can keep your stats all in one place and it's on your phone. There are definitely some pros and cons for both of them. Now, it boils down to this. If you are seriously serious about improving your golf game, I really think it's important to invest in the right stuff. These brands like Golf Buddy, Easy Green, whatever it is, are in that space for a reason. So for me, I trust them in terms of what product and what they deliver, and I like definites. So my personal favorite combo is having a laser. I can laser trees, I can get my layups, I can laser back to trees to get my distances from the tee, and I can definitely get a measure to how far I have to the flag. Now, a great combo with this is having a watch or a handheld GPS as well. But obviously I realize that that can be really expensive. So what could be a great combo is having a laser and maybe using the app in conjunction, like using the Prevo, preview, like using the stats to get an overall full package. I think personally that is a great place to go. But if, you, if money was no object, and I promise you this, if money was no object, I would definitely be going watch, it's easy, it's there, it's on your wrist for long distances away, and then laser for lasering into the flag. I personally think this gives you the actual definite measure, and we know golf is hard enough as it is. So if you're questioning how accurate your measuring device is, how can you pull the trigger? So if you're serious about your game, I would definitely invest into a golf brand and more specifically a watch and a laser to really help lower your scores. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this one and well, see you tomorrow at the same time.